So we're in the process of transforming these uh, coffee tables into display cases uh, to put thinner stuff and coins. But we decided we're going to work on the top one. And what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, some silver coins and do sort of a border pattern on this one. Okay, so now we've peeled back the, uh, the green leathery backer on this and we've sanded it down so it's nice and smooth and there's no more glue or varnish residue. So now we're going to mark, uh, make the lines because we're going to put uh, the coins in a row so we want them to be all lined up straight and we're also going to make a mark uh, exactly where the hole is going to be so they're evenly spaced as well. We're going to do the. Uh, we're going to start with the exterior, the perimeter line, which is the uh, the five cents. I'm going to go roll around the board, so I'm going to mark that. Up. So once I figure out my distance, I guess I'll make sure if I want to keep the the curve here, I'll have to measure an inch and a half for every individual coin away from this lip. If not, I can just go and do a straight line and keep this sort of as a just the border around it. You say straight across, or would you say keeping, following the line? Keeping. Keeping the line of it? So we're going to maintain the same spacing as much as we can. And however I can fit in there, I'll try to use that, e that spacing and fill up the rest ah, as close okay. as I can. Fit. That's all. So there would be... So what we'll do is we'll just divide by two all the way through, and that's what it's going to be. It's a little bit. So we're going to start there at 17 and a half, right? Yeah, 17 so and a half. Divided by two, right? So that's eight, six, uh, eight and a half is 17, so eight and three quarter, eight and three quarter divided by two. Four and three eighths. Four and three eighths divided by two. And now I'm going to do the line at one and between an eighth and a sixteenth. That's going to be the center point of all your circles. Yeah. Wish. So there, they're all evenly spaced. The, uh... I think we could just go straight. It'd be a lot simpler. <laughs> I want the hard way. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's because you have to follow a curve. And I have an idea. Look, if you take this and if we chalk this line and put it backwards. You're, you're a genius, but you don't need the chalk. I don't need the chalk. No, you just do this. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Maybe you're the genius. No, you're the genius. There. So now we need a fishy. <laughs> Come on, I'll pull you. Oh, I'm gonna scratch my floor. What do you think? So, I'm gonna do a test on a on a on a piece of wood, another piece of wood, just okay. a test. How does that fit? Oh, beautiful fit! Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, baby, it's perfect. 
Yeah, that's a perfect fit for the fishy. <gasps> Just Ooh, let's do it, let's do it. Let's make a bunch of holes. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous. Right? It does fit nicely, I yeah. think it is a perfect fit. Yeah. You got one, yay! That's it good. And there we go. Not this one. Remember how Maddie had it? He had it doubled up, I think, eh? Yeah. It looks awesome. We got our uh, our deeper one done. The top one done with the coins. So now we have the middle one that we haven't done yet. Yeah, so uh, same thing as the other one. We're gonna uh, sand it, stain it, and uh, put some large shents in there. Put the glass back on. So it should look good. We'll put all three together. Oh, look at that, that would have been better, but you see his shadow. 